nuclear facilities come online. Another major business risk is nuclear's history of construction delays. Delays will run the costs even higher, risking funding shortfalls. The strain on cash flow is expected to degrade credit ratings. Generation costs for kilowatt, for kilowatt hours for new nuclear, including the fuel and O&M, but um, not distribution to customers, are likely to be 25 to 30 cents per kilowatt hour. This high cost may destroy the very demand that plants were built to serve. High electrical rates may seriously impact utility customers and make nuclear utility service areas non-competitive with other regions in the U.S., which are developing lower cost electricity. Unquote. Right. This article goes to explain how the cost of a build plant exceeds estimates, and how um, with the current energy prices being over 10 times cheaper, there is no way that this, en that this energy policy is going to fly. Now our third point is simple logistics issues. The problems don't stop here. As for what Climate Process has to say from February of 2009, and they said, quote, in August 2007, Tulsa World reported that um, American Electrical Power Company CEO Michael Warris was not planning to build any new nuclear power plants. He was quoted as saying, I'm not convinced we'll see a new nuclear station before possibly the 2020 timeline. Builders would have to queue for certain parts. Indeed, the nuclear industry is riddled with bottlenecks. For instance, Japan Steelworks is Quote, the only plant in the world capable of producing the central part of the nuclear reactor's containment vessel in a single piece. And they already have a backlog of a few years already. Unquote. And so you have six major reasons to end loan guarantees. First of all, they have a 50% failure rate. Second of all, they cause moral hazard, which, which costs us even more. And thirdly, they're unconstitutional. Fourthly, they have extreme capital costs and running costs that makes them extremely, uh, makes them unviable for the economy that we live in today. And finally, simple logistics issues. That these plants would have to get their money from, and they have to get their plot, they have to get their um, parts from Japan, which currently has a backlog of a few years. I would start, strongly urge you to do the best thing for Americans and end with your own guarantees. Thank you. All right, line up. <laughs> I just want to say, I think Ben gave a very good 1AC, and there's a couple of ideas that I had, and I may stop some of you at the end of your cross-examination to just help dissect what's going on here, because I'm kind of curious what you guys are all thinking is how to, how to cross-examine it, but I, I had some ideas here. But I think that this was a very good one, and there's not, you, you make it difficult to, uh, uh, to shoot at you, so, so go ahead. Your introduction, you were talking about uh, nuclear loan guarantees and how they've been passed. What specifically was the name of that act? The Energy Policy Act of 2005. So it was an Energy Policy Act, not necessarily. <coughs> the name of the act was the Energy was the Energy Policy Act, correct? Uh, yes, it can technically be characterized as Energy Policy. The this name, does not mean that it is not environmental. The, the name of the act was Energy Policy, correct? Correct. So if I passed a bill that was talking, the title of the bill was the Gun Control Act. Do you think it would have to do with styles of dishwashers allowed in homes? No. All right. And the resolution is that we're required to change our environmental policy, correct? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So you. So what you're. Let's just. So what you're trying to do is saying that he's off topic. He's. He's. He's not topical in what he's saying. Uh, let me just say, I don't know if I would. I know that that's that's a deadly. You know, thing to bring up. I'm not sure that that would be the first thing I would start with because I feel like you really had to wrestle him to the ground to just talk about the title of the act, and I'm I I'm not sure that would have been the strongest one to start with. I see what you're doing, and I mean topicality is a death blow, but uh, I'm not sure the label necessarily means that it's non-topical. You know, and so so anyway, I just I just point that out. But I think you're getting the flow of how to do the technique, and 
then was appropriate in trying to stick some sticks in your bike spokes as you rode by there. So, <laughs> okay, Mr. Pugh. Now, in the beginning of your speech, you talked about how the, uh, the Energy Policy Act passed about $20 billion in, in basically loans, correct? <coughs> All right, now basically your, your first justification is about, or your first subpoint in your first <coughs> was about a 50% fail rate, and basically that's bad for taxpayers. That's your argument, right? Correct. All right, and then your third point, you basically said it's unconstitutional, which puts a burden on taxpayers, correct? Correct. All right, now we're dealing with $20 billion, correct? Correct. All right, and now the, the third, the piece of evidence you also read about it being unconstitutional also mentioned uh, bailouts and other things like that, correct? Correct. All right, now do you agree with me that we passed over a trillion dollars in bailouts in the last year? Correct. And we're considering passing another... Uh, you can uh, another, it. that's fine. It, it's, it's about another $800 billion worth of, uh, of a health care plan. All right, so basically, and in, you're talking about this $20 billion, which is basically, what, $70 per United States taxpayer? Uh, I believe it's a little over 100 to 200 All right, so $100 per taxpayer for $20, for $20 billion, correct? Okay, let's stop there. So let's still do, try not to do like more than five or six questions. Sorry. But let, like, Lydia or anybody, if you want to continue questioning and someone else is in before you. Okay, I, I think that that was very good. The only thing I would say is I think the length, the longer your questions, the more quibble opportunity. So you want to be, I would try to be a little more bite-sized than what you asked. And so the, the way that I would have done this would say, uh, well here, let me, let me let some of the other people run, but I, I just think that I would shorten the questions, that, that, that there's still a little bit too much debater's disease in, in, in the way you're doing the cross-examination, I would say. Okay. Go ahead. You're, 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 you're banning nuclear loan guarantees on moral and constitutional grounds, correct? Those are some of them, yes. All right. Yeah, I think those are a little too characteristic. And just be careful. Like, I don't think you necessarily have to, like, set the stage for your arguments like that. So, and if you do, if you feel like it, just be careful. On moral, what do you say, moral grounds? Moral and constitutional. See, those are kind of like, they make yeah, me a little more. Okay, the only reason okay. I brought them up is that he brought them up. Okay. First, but I'll say one, because they are, they are, like, subjective. Um, agricultural subsidies will remain after your plan is passed, correct? Correct. All right, what about bank bailouts? Uh, they'll have to remain as well. All right, what about auto bailouts? What about, what about, are those leading questions? Try that again. How's it, how can you answer it? Are you going, are you, does your plan remove the auto bailout? No. All right, now let's talk about your No, no, this is the way I would, I'm sorry to just, okay, no, you, do it, you do it this way. You say, farm subsidies would stay. Right. Uh, what were the other ones you used? Um, auto bailout. Being auto bailout. bailout. The, the auto loans would stay. The the divas would stay, right? Right, right, right. right. So you don't you don't ask him a question. It gives him a little like you're giving him daylight for quibbling, and that's what All you right. don't want to do. All right. <clears throat> the piece of evidence that you mentioned under your moral hazard point. Did that mention nuclear loan guarantees? It didn't, correct? And moral hazard. Um. No, it just mentions loan guarantees in general. Was it? It was referring to banks, correct? Correct. All right, what about your card under the constitutionality? That was referring to subsidizing the computer industry, correct? As well as guaranteed loans to pay for business owners. To pay for business owners, all right. Good job, that was good. Okay, my first question is a quite a leading question, just so you know. <laughs> but could you reread your definition of environmental policy? Environmental policy, any course of action deliberately taken or not taken to manage human activities Rent, produce, or mitigate harmful effects on nature and natural. Okay, so basically, to so it says to um, kind of help the environment, basically, right? Basically, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to your justifications. Your first justification was that they're bad, and your first reason that we should do your plan was because they fail. Now, failing does not have to do with protecting the environment, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, moving on to the moral point. For a moral reason, um, talking about basically the Constitution, that doesn't have to do with protecting the environment, correct? Correct. Okay, and then finally, the cost. The cost doesn't have to do with protecting the environment, correct? Correct. Okay, and then the logistical problems, that does not 